No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin We fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Redness is gone. I always get red like I was in my last video when I exfoliate and then it goes away the next day. All right, we need to do something about this look. <laughs> hi guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi. I'm really glad you clicked on this video. I do hope by the end of it you will decide to become a part of the Gem Squad family by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay, so if you saw my other channel, Swatch Investigator, I recently did swatches of this 9B Call Me Baby New Morphe palette. And we're gonna do an eye look today with this. So get your brushes. I was I usually wear a big t-shirt, but I'm freezing, you know, so I'll have to be real careful and try not to get makeup anywhere. I have got MAC Paint Pot on my eyes, so we are ready to go. Let's just go ahead and dive in. This is what she looks like. She's super pretty. I don't know how well the shadows perform yet, obviously. It was a $12 palette. And I need me some of my eye brushes. <laughs> These are just some. Just a few. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the lightest shade in the palette to start with. There is some kick up for sure. And we're gonna put that, ooh, it's like a bubblegum pink. In the transition area, which is right below the brow bone, and right above the crease. This is a matte, but it's got like little tiny sparklies in it. But of course, when you put it on your eye, you don't see that. And this here, I think is a Madison Beer brush. Yes, it's from the Morphe Madison Beer collection. That's pretty. Not bad, all right. So let's go ahead and go a little bit darker. We've got a couple of uh, things to choose from. I wanna try the brown. It's a brownish, but We'll put that right there in the crease. It's got more of like a berry kind of undertone, which I'm all about. I'm all about the berries. Let's go ahead and circular motions. I flick the shadow towards the eye instead of away from the eye. I'm liking, let me catch up with you. Okay, let's try the darkest color in the palette right on this same brush. Usually I would use a more detailed brush, but I can use this one. I just have to go about it a different way. Put most of the pigment right there in the middle. And then blend. Super pretty color. They're blending beautifully. I'm excited about this. $12 palette. Thank you. Jackson just brought me boxy charm. Okay, go ahead and put it down. Did you guys pick up this palette? I know there were a few of you that wanted me to get it and swatch it, and of course I did. I do the shorts videos over on my Swatch Investigator channel, um, so you guys can see the colors. And then, you know, sometimes I compare, because I've already found a duplicate of this shade in the Morphe Sweet Oasis, and you're gonna see that in my latest video if you go over to Swatch Investigator. All right, so this is pretty blended. I'm liking it. It's a really pretty color. I do have to go in now with a blending brush. It doesn't have anything on it because that brush had a lot of pigment. So now I've got to... There we go. 
go. Um, yeah, this Eco Tools brush. Just go around the edges, make sure everything is nice and blended. Basically, you don't want like such a huge difference over here, you know, with this type of eye look. So you want to blend the edges more into the skin. So it's not as dark and pigmented on the on the edges. I like. Okay, now we need to decide what we're going to do with shimmers. And you're going to need specific brushes for this. Um, mini round brush. Small fine detailing brushes. Ooh. This one, you can barely see it. But it can come in quite handy. Alright. And pencil brushes. Yes. That's what we need. Alright, so here we go. We are going to, we're going to need some setting spray because we want to minimize fallout. And, you know, make the shadow pop. Alright, so oh, these colors are just, hmm. Okay, I'm going to go in with this one here. I'll put the name on the screen for you. Wow, it doesn't look like it would have a pink undertone, but it totally does. Ooh, I like, that's super pretty. Don't forget, you might have to, well, not like you don't forget, but you might have to hold your eyes if you have mature lids. That's totally okay. All right, I'm. It feels like butter. I'm just like okay. I like to use the brush because I like to give the illusion that my eye looks a little bit bigger by going above my crease. That is just stunning. Okay, then we've got. Do I want to put this one in here? It's a matte. Look at that color. It's Wow! Oh my! Ooh, okay, so much for not doing pink eyeshadow. Wow! And that's not even the brightest one. Do you guys see that? I bet you if I went over to the window, my neighbor would see it. My goodness! We're putting something over it too, though, so. Don't get too excited. It's not staying there like that. <laughs> I don't need it that bright. In the YouTube world, pink eyeshadow is normal, but everyday world, it's so not. People are like, she got pink on her eyes? <laughs> yeah. All right, so the other shimmer in this palette. Well, another one I'm going to put right over this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Kind of giving me pink religion vibes from Jeffree Star's collection. That's insane. And I like me a dark eye. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do though. We're going to take this little Morphe brush. And it's the holiday collection. The only brush I like from the collection. And put it in this top shimmer right up here and then I'm going to see about using that for a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight Ooh, so far these these shadows are very blendable super pigmented and it's $12 it's literally the price of a ColourPop palette, like the one I just did, the Wannabe palette, which is not on their website, that ColourPop palette, but it's in Ulta. It's weird. Okay. Oh my gosh. I need to do some blending. That's obvious. But I also want to go in with this Morphe pencil brush, and we're going to go in with this darkest matte. 
And what we're going to do, put it underneath, but then I'm going to take it up and over so the eye looks like it, everything belongs together. Dang it, I got something on my hoodie. Oh my gosh, I hope it comes out. Oh, very irritating. This is why I wear a t-shirt. <laughs> I didn't think you guys mind if I did my eyeliner and my lashes off camera. I'm gonna have to put like that spray stuff on it and everything. Grr. All right, so let's talk about this palette. If you want to see the swatches, I will link my other video to them in here, but it performed beautifully and I really like the look, but now I need to know your thoughts down in the comments below. The more you talk to me down there, the more everybody in my community reads. And if you're new, welcome, say hello. I would love to get to know you. Tell me your favorite color. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate every single one of you so very much. And I will see you really, really soon in another video.